This house in Quezon City is an example of architecture where form follows function. It's a modern house built for the tropics. The owner, an architect, inherited this 450 square meter lot from his grandfather. Well, what we have here is a really modern home built by architect Jean Flancha. It's actually his own house, right? <laughs> um, tell us the story of this house. How old is it and what made you build a modern house? Mm -hmm. Well. The property was given to me by my grandfather. Mm -hmm. He actually was the one who uh, practically educated me from, from uh, grade school to college. Mm -hmm. And he gave the property to me as, as a reward for mm -hmm. you know, uh, doing pretty well in school. Wow, <laughs> that's a nice reward. Okay. So, uh, well, I, I feel kind of good because instead of giving it to his own kids, he gave it to me. Mm -hmm. First grandson, kasi rin ako, no? And then what I wanted was a house that was simple mm -hmm. no? and tropical, but I wanted some abstractions as well, a little right. adventurism here and there in terms of, in terms of details. Mm -hmm. So you designed this uh, to suit your own needs. You have a yes, big family, you said, mm -hmm. and... Relatives. Okay. <laughs> and uh, this, you would call this a modern tropical? Modern oh. tropical, yes. Okay. Makes, what makes it modern? Well, it has very simple lines, basically it doesn't have a lot of all of this fairly gray, mm -hmm. but if you notice, it has eaves. I think for a house in the tropics, it has to have eaves. It has to have eaves. It has to have eaves. Because uh, if it doesn't, you know, your walls would, would get dirty right, right. away. Okay. So uh, even the windows, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when I made the projections, I had to mm -hmm. provide some um, shading, you know, right. sun shades. Because we have very yeah. uh, temperate weather and it's yes. really, really harsh, mm -hmm. the sun. Yes. So that's why you made the, the roof overhang sort of? Yes, yes. To protect uh, from direct sun? Yes, it, that's, okay. that's the idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, um, so here's the house. Uh, it's not your traditional house with a front door, you know. Yeah. Um, in fact, you have this, uh, what do you call this, a podium? Like a podium. Like a sidewalk podium <laughs> around the house, mm -hmm. which is so... Interesting. It reminds me of a 1950s mm -hmm. modern type. Mm -hmm. Are you influenced by that? Well, uh, I'm into uh, history. I teach, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I teach history quite a bit. So, of course, I get, I, I get some of my clues from what I've seen, you mm -hmm. know, documented. So here we are. Now, today, this is the front door. Yes, <laughs> the lucky is, door. Obviously, it's not really just your, not your normal wooden front door. Yeah. We have here just glass, sliding doors, and a screen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so wow. So here we are now. I like that you don't have a front door, foyer, no nothing. It's just, it's okay. everything is just here. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Jean mixed modern and traditional furnishing. Some of the wood used for the furniture were given by clients. Tell me about your choice of furniture. Okay, this is interesting, Daphne. You know, my brother gave me these uh, you know, slabs of wood. Mm -hmm. He was telling me that these are uh, wooden uh, slabs that are being used by farmers. They have the carabaos, uh, you know, pull, okay. pull these slabs. Initially, I wanted it, I wanted them to be uh, my co for my dining, my dining table. I was thinking nothing's gonna be left you know, yeah. with the wood. So I said, "Gonna lang, I'll just use if it." I'll just make use of it as a sofa. So as is, raw, as is, and then you just yeah, put raw, cushions. Yeah, cushions. I just elevated them Okay. for it to be 16 inches. That is a way yeah. of using something old. Mm -hmm, really That's old. Nice. Wow. Actually, there's a, you can see a checkerboard, the pattern over at the side. So you go to the, the farmers, while they're being transported to, uh, the, to the market, play, they oh, yeah? play checkers. A, where? Yeah. Let me show you. I don't know if it's this one. Ah, here. You know, 
Naglalaro sila ng ganun. Checkers yan, yeah. They play checkers there. <laughs> There's a story there, that's, <laughs> that's for right. sure. Okay, and then your table? And table, most of the stuff here, as I was telling Stan, mm -hmm. were made here, actually. I just bought this uh, glass. This glass, and it cost me uh, something you? like uh, one thousand five hundred. Wow! If you buy this, maybe outside, so something like fifteen, maybe okay. more thousand. The ceiling of the living room is two stories high. From here, you see the master bedroom. In here, you created this uh, area. Yeah. Well, uh, this is uh, a real uh, bamboo, mm -hmm. bamboo tree. So it helps me sort of. Uh, or, or underline the, the height of, of okay. the residence. So from over here, we actually could see something up there, or rather from up there, you go down here, yeah. that's your bedroom. My master's bedroom. Your yeah. master bedroom, mm -hmm. and yeah. more glass mm -hmm. all the way up. Mm -hmm. Okay, what made you think of that layout? Again, I, I wanted to layer uh, the planes, you know. Mm -hmm. What you have here on this plane is duplicated on this next plane. Mm. But actually, what I just really wanted to do was from my bedroom, when I wake up in the morning, I see the trees. The trees. Basically. So you have an unobstructed view yeah. of that gorgeous tree mm. over there, from so my, from your from bedroom. From my bedroom, yes. Okay, so now let's move further here. Mm -hmm. And over here is your dining? Yes, ma'am. This wall will just be the partition to uh, will delineate the kitchen. Okay. So to add a little abstraction to it, I just... Uh, you know, had the, the end of the wall okay. diagonally, you know, parang ganun. So you, you, you put a diagonal Yeah, line instead there. of just coming up with the, the normal vertical uh, wall, uh -huh. I said for a little dynamism, right. let's make it planted. Very nice. So that's the statement. And then and it's the terra, color? the terracotta color, so I'm fond of that. Now so, your table and your chairs are so <laughs> nice. Is and for a long time, the 50s or 60s? Tagal na, ano din naman, mga around the 80s. 80s? 80s. Pero parang yung lines niya, parang pang 60s, no? That's right. Very oh, nice. Very comfortable. I got this from our old condominium pa. Oh. But even my table, you know, there's a story to that one. I have a lot of leftover 2 by 3 tubular members steel. Okay, tubular members. That's yeah. a word I haven't mm -hmm. heard yet. This is it. Tubular steel. From uh, your construction? Construction. Okay. Uh, so, uh, quite a bit of leftovers. I so, said, I'll make it into my table. I've been looking around um, the stores and I just didn't like what I've been seeing. So you made your own table? Yeah, the ones <laughs> I, that, that I've seen that are, you know, that I really like, cost you an arm and leg. Okay. So I so, said, I'll just make my own. All right, so this is steel. Yeah. And you added some warmth.